Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Legend of Runeterra. This is Becca, and I am here to introduce my channel to everyone. Uh, as I said, my channel for now is focused on Legend of Runeterra games, a game, uh, more specifically on one champion deck uh, gameplay. On the right side, you will see the on the lower right side you will see the number of tries that i did on this specific deck and the purpose is to win and explain the mechanic behind a specific champion how he evolve and how you may want to play him of course these decks are not meant to be played as is but just as an educational uh, explanation and it's better to always play with multiple champions so that you can have uh, both strength and weakness covered. For those that are new to Legend of Runeterra, uh, for Legend of Runeterra you have three or four main options that you can use. The first one is play, which kind of gameplay you can have. You ha can play against players, against AI, you can play challenges that will explain uh, similar to what i am doing right now it will explain what every uh, mechanic is about uh, gauntlet which which is a gameplay where you pick three decks uh, you play against another enemy that have three decks and you can both uh, ban one of the decks and see who can have two wins out of three and you can uh, earn some rewards if you play it. It's uh, cyclic, so you will not always find it, but it's fun to play. You can also go to tournaments. The Path of Champions, which is uh, a gameplay that is against AI. In this gameplay, you can, uh, you can pick a buff that that is permanent and it, the more you go along the storyline the more you have buffs and you can choose one champion to play as and that champion will get buffed as you go along or you can have the labs which are spe uh, special uh, game modes like uh, ultra rapid draw which is high speed high variety game so a lot of mana gems a lot of uh, cards very fast paced you can and you have other game game modes that are changed periodically like welcome to the jungle which uh, you go and you race with your opponent to who will have the most who will defeat more monsters and every time you defeat a monster you get the buff or you can play co-op against an AI then you have events and rewards these are uh, for the events you can either uh, buy a pass or get free rewards as you go as you play and for rewards you can choose a region every time you play a game you get some points and when you hit the milestone you will get free rewards which is the easiest way to get a deck early for decks uh, it's the most interesting part of Legend of Runeterra uh, you can either but you can buy a lot of things but the most important are either cards or that you can use or to pick a deck as you can see all these are uh, decks that I already played please watch the video if you like them I put a favorite on every deck that I already got a win as here you can either put a new deck or import deck. Import deck means uh, if you can uh, when you can share a deck with the community. When you share uh, this deck, when you share the deck, they will give you a password, a hashed value, which you can copy to clipboard. And when you import the deck, when you copy that value. Anybody that put import deck will get his deck back. So we go again. You go to share. Copy to clipboard. 
as long as you copy it and you go to import deck it will automatically be imported to you and you can change the name and use it as you go along you can also have a new decks for new decks you can choose either champion uh, there are four kinds the uh, four level of card champions which are the uh, the units that you can play as in League of Legends and League of Legends you can have epic rare or common cards you can also have each one is divided between equipment which are cards that will buff units landmark which are cards that are put on the field and after an amount of time these cards will be uh, will have an effect you can have units which are uh, as i said a unit that has uh, that you can put on the decks to use it to attack each unit will have either at the health how long how much it has said uh, is how much how defensive it is and damage how much it do damage when it attack some card, cards has, have keywords which are a specific effect for that card uh, I am not going to go through all of them right now, but uh, we will go through them each video as we see them. You can also have spells. The spells are also divided as slow, burst, fast, and uh, effect. If I'm not uh, for slow cards, it, it will make you lose one round. To, uh, have the effect but they are much stronger than other cards fast cards you can you will not lose an effect uh, around but the enemy can react to it and burst are fast which means the the burst cards you will not lose around and the enemy cannot react we also have effect card cards which are Cards that are specifically made to be used on a champion and give him a, a buff or something like that. And spell cards can have a very high, a very uh, different effect. Too much to count. And lastly, uh, not lastly, uh, one more thing. Every card has a mana cost. For mana, each round you play, you will get one mana, uh, you will refill the mana, and you will get one mana more. And you can store from round to round up to three spell only mana cards. And the spell mana cards are used only for spells, as the name implies. And if you cast a spell, it consumes the spell mana before the regular mana. So every deck sh uh, should have a variety of effect and spell cards based on how much they cost. For example, for my side, I have the Azir build, which has 10 one uh, cost cards, 10 two cost cards, three, uh, 10 three cost cards, five four cost, one five cost, and four eight or more if you edit the deck you can also uh, see inside of it what are the results for example i have three champion cards 15 unit cards 18 spell cards seven landmarks and zero equipment uh, and lastly uh, one more thing every card you have a limit of them so you can have at maximum six champion cards 40 cards in total and up to two regions which means i cannot choose every card as you can see on the top right corner has one or more regions and you cannot have for example one card from build, uh, build over one card from the shadow eyes 
and one card of Damasia on the same times, with the exception of multi-regional cards, which can be counted as either of both. For example, I can have Timo, and I can have uh, Damasian. So I can now have multiple cards from multiple regions without an issue. Of course, the number of cards is wrong, but you get the idea. Uh, next, discard the changes. Uh, the things to keep in mind is it's better to have uh, to pick a region that you like to play as soon as you start. At the end of the week, uh, you will get a vault. It's unlocked on Thursday. And the vault quality will change based on how many games you play, how many you win, and how many missions you perform. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. It helps a lot more than you can think. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask in the comments and I will help as much as I can. Bye.